Hello everybody, this is Thomas Applegate with CPUPoints.com and today's Windows XP tip we're going to discuss is how to remove software from Windows XP. Okay, before I start, I'm going to give you one warning. I'm removing an audio program from my computer that ran my old audio drivers um, that I don't use anymore because I installed a better sound card in my computer. Just note, okay, if you remove this program from your computer and you don't have another sound card in there, your sound will not work. Okay, with that note, we're going to click on start, go into control panel, go into add remove programs. You wait for, for this um, screen to populate and, uh, and for the sake of um, completeness we're going to sit here and uh, watch my screen populate. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to scroll down to the application that we want to remove. Okay, remember, if you don't use any applications here, and as long as they're not sound drivers or video, um, drivers uh, or any other drivers that are on your computer, um, you're more than welcome to, uh, to remove the software. Um, however, I use most of, the, most of the applications here and the only one I don't use is over here called Realtek AC97 Audio. And the reason I don't use it, again, is because I have a Creative Sound Blaster in my computer now and the Creative Sound Card driver is right here. You see that? Creative Media Source, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all that's part of my creative sound card. So I don't need to have two sound card drivers on my computer. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm just doing this as an example so you can see how to remove software. Okay. Now we remove, click on remove, and it goes to the uninstallation process. And then it says, do you want to completely remove this selected application all its features? Well, do I? Absolutely. And then we watch the screen go across on and stall and la 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 uh, and it's going to ask me to restart my computer okay, at this point you, you click on yes but I'm not going to restart my computer yet because I'm still recording so we're going to click on no for now remember you click yes and you click finish and let your computer restart and click finish and that's the end of this tutorial so um, if you have any questions, please click on the contact me link at the top. And if you wish to leave a comment, please click the comment below. And this concludes today's tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.